First thing I wanted to say, this video is all over the place. Future videos on this project won't be like that. Sorry. All right, guys, obviously by the thumbnail, uh, you guys know I got a new project truck. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and go show you that. And then I'm also going to do a small unboxing video because all of my parts for it, for my first mods just came in today. Obviously, as you can see, don't mind the mess. We were supposed to move and then now we're not, so. Long story, I'll tell you later. Do you guys believe it if I said I raked it two days ago? There she is. It's got a carbureted 350. That is from last night. I've actually already done the valve cover gaskets on it. Um, and you can kind of tell they're cleaner than what the rest of the truck is. Uh, it was leaking pretty bad. Um, but the best thing about this truck Sorry for the dogs. Is how solid the rocker panels are. So, plan today is to get the headers done. Once I get the headers done, I'm going to do the exhaust because I have all that inside. But first, I gotta take that white pipe off because right now the exhaust is leaking into the cab and it is getting very, very foggy, very quick, and I don't wanna die from that so there's a crack right there let's get to the unboxing video so the first box we're going to rip into is i believe the headers it says flowmaster on it and it's got a picture of a header on it so I'm, I'm pretty sure that that's the headers again sorry about the mess we were supposed to move and things didn't go how they were supposed to so first thing is flow tech i don't know how sharp this knife is Well, this box is falling apart. For those of you who don't like build these trucks or whatever, I actually bought the Flotec because I read on the forums that they are the only ones that will really fit the square bodies with no like fabrication. And I was trying to get away with as much that I didn't have to do as possible. The gaskets look to be fucking wrecked. That's awesome. These are the reducers right after the collectors kind of fit the exhaust pipe that's all the boring shit let's get to the fun part this is passenger side dope oh whoa why is that moving i don't like that all the headers i've ever gotten have been slip-on headers the collectors have had like the slip-on not the actual flanges so this is a little confusing for me. Not that I don't know how to do it. I was gonna cut that. This side, make sure everything's all good on this one. Then we'll get on to our next box. Oh yeah. Check that out. I know I didn't show you guys a whole lot of that truck. Um, it's basically just your average square body, K10, um, custom deluxe, but it's uh, pretty rusted out, which it's fine. Um, I actually think one of these boxes has uh, all the panels and stuff that I need to replace it. I have no idea what that one is. That's probably my exhaust kit. This is probably the panels. Let's go ahead and go with this. Also, if you guys see that white mark on my uh, dog's bed, I bought a paint pen last night. And about 10 minutes after I got home, my paint pen was destroyed. My dog. Apparently, likes paint. It's also why he's in the cage right now. I don't want to hit the metal and dull my knife even more. It is the exhaust. I'm actually going to try to get the headers done tonight. Because... I really want to drive the truck and it does run and drive. I've actually driven it about 30 miles, but with the exhaust going into the cabin, it's really not safe. And I actually didn't know that it was leaking into the cabin until the last time I drove it because I put seafoam in the gas. So it was actually like burning a lot uh, smokier. So you could actually see the smoke going into the cabin and it actually fogged up like the windshield and everything. So. Yeah, it got pretty ugly pretty quick. 
I have no idea how to put these on. Next box. I bet you those are rocker panels then, if these are the floor pans. All right. Yeah. Okay, so those are definitely floor pans, which they do come with the inner rocker panel attached. I was hoping they did, but I didn't know if they did or not. My girlfriend may be a little upset that she can't walk in the living room, but it's okay. Dope. Now these should be outer rocker panels. And inner, really, because even though the floors come with them, it also showed I also had them. And also, I should have cab supports in here because mine are completely rusted out. When did people start using staples instead of tape? This is stupid. Sorry if it's a little dark in here, I actually just blew a light bulb. And too lazy to get it. Okay, so definitely outer rocker panels. Cab supports. Um, let's see. So that in there is the cab support. I think that's the inner rocker panels. Let me open that one up. Um, these are front cab supports. Oh, you know what? Those are inner rocker panels, I think. These are, they look like they're kick panels. But I didn't order kick panels. Cab, oh, they're my cab corners. I'm freaking dumb. Okay, so cab corners, cab supports, outer rocker panels. And I think these are supposed to be the inner rocker panels, but I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't know why they're flat. Uh, rocker back plate. Rocker panel backing plate. I'm gonna assume that's in a rocker panel. Yeah, let's go install the headers. So if you guys wanna see the truck get pretty much finished, uh, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Like my videos if you want. If not, whatever. I'm going to be attempting to install the headers on my 1980 custom deluxe K10. Uh, I actually have to do it in the driveway though, because oh, as you can see, Camaro's taking out the garage, so, and it's not coming out. Um, so I'm grabbing my tools right now. Yeah, uh, three quarters should be it. Should be all I need. I actually have to take off the Y pipe before I can take off the actual header itself because it's connected. So, um, first thing we're gonna do is attempt to take off the white pipe. And I sprayed down all the bolts this morning when I got off work um, with PV Blaster, but we'll see how well that worked because it is a 40 year old truck. So, and I didn't go too in depth with my last video because I kind of wanted to do the unboxing video. So, I'll show you guys a little bit more right now. Obviously, custom deluxe K10. Um, I will need to replace like the doors and everything. You can kind of see that rocker panel's all screwed up. Everything's solid, it's just rusted quite a bit. I need new quarter panels or the wheel wheels. The bed's pretty solid. Um, the only spots are in the back right there and over there. Uh, other than that, it's pretty solid. It needs new cab mounts, which are, let's see. Oh, I need a flashlight. Give me a timeout. Okay. Uh, where are they? Right there. Yeah. And then I actually ooh, close the door. I'm actually gonna buy new supports right there too, uh, because they're shot. And then I, I can get all the new bushings and stuff for that for seventy bucks. And then it should be pretty solid. So. Right now, here's the exhaust. It comes off the Y pipe up there. I don't know if you guys can see that. And then it just comes down to the muffler. And then whoever had it just kind of said, fuck it. And that's where it ends. So that needs to come off. Connect over to that header over there. Because the kit that I have is a dual exhaust kit. So I'm not sure how we're going to do it. But I'm just going to start yanking bolts off. 
All right, so I was trying to take off the white pipe and the head just snapped right off. Um, it's actually still in my socket. Yeah, so new plan is to take off the headers and then let them drop and then cut it at the white pipe and just pull them out the top. So I'm gonna do that real quick. I'll let you get on how it goes. All right guys, it has literally been like three weeks since I have started recording this video. Um, there's a couple reasons for that. The biggest one being that um, I've had a lot of difficulties with the uh, truck. I think the last thing you guys saw was me trying to get the exhaust off so I could put the headers on that I got because you guys saw the um, unboxing video for those. So update, um, I just got everything working. Uh, I got the headers on within like three days I think I just had to cut everything off. Uh, the bolts weren't really stuck except for on the exhaust, so I had to cut the exhaust off, replace the exhaust manifolds for the new headers. Um, I got all that done, and I hooked the starter back up, and I went to start it, and I got nothing. So, uh, that's where it gets interesting. It's been two or three weeks, uh, me trying to figure out why the truck wouldn't start. I had zero electricity, and I read all the forums and everything, and I was like, oh, okay, fusible wire, or fusible link, I think they're called. Um, so that was basically like my go-to fix. Well, today I finally got the chance to get my dad's voltmeter and tested all the fusible links. All of them tested good. So um, I was kind of lost. Well, I went back out there and I took the wire off the starter and I kind of thought, I was like, well, that's weird. I took the wire off the starter. Should have had to take the wires off the starter. So I got to looking and the main battery cable from the positive terminal to the starter that, you know, supplies the entire truck with power. Yeah, I didn't hook it up. It was laying on the frame under the engine. So uh, I got that hooked up and then the truck started. And it's been three weeks of me trying to figure out why the truck wouldn't start. And it's because I didn't have the battery hooked up to the starter. So I'm not like the dumbest person on YouTube, but I would say top five, definitely. Um, anyway, uh, I'm going to show you the truck. Because um, this, this video has been literally all over the place. So we're going to go out and look at the truck. I'm going to give you a start to prove that it runs. And it's really freaking loud, so I can't run it for too long. Because it's literally just straight headers right now. Um, I have to put on that exhaust kit right there. And then I'm going to end up getting some mufflers. I don't know what type yet or anything and just cutting them in and kind of clamping them in just to make it quieter. Um, Cause I want to drive this truck like daily and I don't want to get pulled over for exhaust. So I'm going to go start the truck. And after I get the truck started, probably going to end this video, I'm going to get that exhaust on and then we're going to start getting videos of the truck going, uh, during the winter time since I can't drive the Camaro or the bike, obviously. So let's go do that and I'll be with you guys in two seconds. All right. And it's like 30 degrees outside. It is cold. So get my little ghetto ignition here. Just gonna push that in, start a button. As you can see, it's very loud. But it runs. That one's still smoking a little bit. It might be the uh, paint coming off of the headers, though. Give it a little gas. She's definitely a little loud. So as you guys can see, uh, truck runs. It's very loud. Obviously it's just straight headers. Um, the only thing I have left to do as far as that process goes is I have to um, tape up the wires. That way the heat doesn't actually burn through the fusible link and then I actually do have a fusible link problem. So I'm gonna go ahead and tape those up with this 
comb stuff. It's supposed to be like heat resistant or something. I, I don't know. I'm gonna tape those up just to make sure they don't get burnt through with the header. And then it's just uh, hooking up the rest of the exhaust and finding some mufflers to put on there. So that's gonna be the end of this video. Uh, it's been like a month long video. So I'm gonna go ahead and end it there. And yeah, that's the new project truck. So get ready for that. Deuces. <laughs>